Hey photographers, shooting with the new Fujifilm XF18 whetted my wide-angle appetite. Asked Fujifilm Ken if I could borrow some even wider lenses, the 14mm and the 8-16mm. Today, let's get wide. I held on to the X-Pro3 for the sample images, and while the camera and lenses are on loan, this post is not sponsored. Fujifilm has not compensated me for posting this video, and they did not review the script or the video before posting. Now, the field of view of the Fujifilm 18mm is 76 degrees. Protractor will help you visualize these numbers, but I'll demonstrate with these shots in a kitchen. This is the 18mm view, then 14mm is an angle of view of about 90 degrees, 8mm is about 120. That's the number often given as the field of view of our human vision, but with peripheral vision, your field of view is probably wider than that. However, on a screen or a flat print, it's a surprisingly large view of a scene, whether you're close or far. From your subject. And before we take a more detailed look at that, these X-mount lenses are compatible with all Fujifilm X-mount bodies, and they're all XF branded, which signifies better quality. The 8-16 also has the red badge designation. The XF 8-16 f2.8 LMWR weighs slightly over 800 grams and is 13 centimeters long. For most Fujifilm bodies, that's big and heavy, and it extends below the bottom plate. Uh, the front glass of wide-angle lenses is generally not flat. They tend to bubble up a bit. The 8-16's front glass is a rounded dome, and there's no filter thread for ND or UV. The lens cap slips over the lens flare petals. A zoom action occurs within the lens. And the closest focus is 25 centimeters, and that seems close, but the field of view is enormous. The XF 14 millimeter f2.8 weighs 235 grams and is just under six centimeters long. That pairs nicely with most Fujifilm cameras. It is missing the LM linear motor and WR weather resistant designations. The filter diameter is 58 millimeters. Closest focus is 18 centimeters. The review unit's hood has gone missing. While the other two are focused by wire, the XF 14's focus ring locks. Pull it back to unlock it and reveal the defined travel marked focus ring. There are markings to help size the depth of field at various apertures. Push it back to return to autofocus. The new XF 18mm LMWR f1.4 weighs 370 grams and is just under 8 centimeters long. Uh, that matches nicely with Fujifilm's mid range size bodies like the X Pro 3. Filter diameter is 62 millimeters, closest focus is 20 centimeters. However, on the X Pro 3, it's not great with the optical viewfinder, blocking a good part of the bottom right corner. In addition to the corner obstruction, wider lenses have a field of view that's quite a bit larger than the view of the optical viewfinder here. All three have a stepped aperture ring, f2.8 to f22 for the 14 and the 8 to 16, f1.4 to f16 for the 18 millimeter. And the aperture ring has an A position, which signals to the camera that you want it to set the aperture. That's also called shutter priority, unless the shutter dial is also at the A, which puts the camera in program mode. Only the 18 millimeter has a key that you press when accessing or exiting the auto mode. And wide angles often distort and exaggerate the scene that's usually a fisheye effect, an outward bow, where the edges seem to bend away from the center. It's called barrel distortion because it looks like the image has been wrapped around a barrel. Well, even at 8mm, the 8-16 to is free of this effect, and to my eye, the lines remain relatively straight. <laughs> but that's not true in small spaces, where the closest objects, like the piano and the stairs, are clearly distorted. Uh, for raw images, Lightroom makes a perspective correction, automatically applying a built-in lens profile. Switching between the straight out-of-camera JPEG images and the raw file demonstrates the adjustments that are made to reduce those effects. 
objects to the right and left are more obviously stretched, which is very apparent in some situations like cars entering or leaving the sides of the frame. <laughs> and it's worth noting that nearly all wide angle lenses share this effect to some extent. It's less obvious on the 14 millimeter lens and even less with the 18 millimeter. Also, while lines look straight when you are pointed at the horizon, when you're tilting up or down, the sides bend in. Uh, while not a completely natural perspective, it is one we accept as fairly normal. I frame this shot with small branches in the upper left corner. Now, let's pixel peep at 200%. The 18 millimeter is free of color fringing, as is the 14 millimeter, and the 8 to 16 millimeter at 8 millimeters. The detail is clear with no odd artifacts. Lenses in this range are typically chosen for landscapes and architecture and are also useful for interiors where the wider view provides more context. And it makes even small rooms look large. They're a bit of an acquired taste for portraits, although the additional context they provide creates very intriguing images, or video for that matter, and I'm less than 50 centimeters from the lens. With the usual 50 millimeter view, you only see the center of my backdrop, but at eight millimeters, you see the floor, the ceiling, and the walls on either side. Ah, although these lenses are not stabilized, the large field of view of a wide angle lens generally provides a more stable handheld video scene than smaller angles. Now, if images that capture a large scene appeal, then these lenses, particularly the 8 to 16, can provide views from nicely to extremely wide. As I said at the beginning, I am not sponsored, so I don't stop in the middle to sell you something, nor do I allow YouTube to interrupt my videos with mid-roll ads. Those decisions make this a better channel for you, but they do have a financial impact, so I am very grateful to those of you who have decided to support this channel by becoming a member. If membership is for you, please use the join button below. But subscribers need not worry. No content will be behind a paywall, and I do read and reply to all relevant and civil comments and questions. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.